brought to you by 1AAuto.com, your source for quality replacement parts and the best service on the internet. Hi, I'm Mike from 1AAuto. I hope this how-to video helps you out. And next time you need parts for your vehicle, think of 1AAuto.com. Thanks. In this video, we're going to show you how to remove and reinstall a rear door handle, the outside door handle, on this 2005 Dodge Durango. Pretty much the same for any 2004 to 09 Durango, uh, as well as the procedure is the same for the Aspen. Tools you'll need are a small flat blade screwdriver, a Phillips screwdriver, and an 8mm wrench or socket and ratchet. Okay, first there's a little kind of trap door in here. Just use a small flat blade screwdriver in, pry it out. Now you have a Phillips screw there, as well as one down here, and one further back. I'm just going to speed it up here as I use obviously a Phillips screwdriver to remove those three screws. Once you have those screws out, we pull out of the panel. And back in here you'll see a little blue clip, pull that blue clip off, pull that up and out, and then your connector for your window switch is right here, press on a little tab, okay, that's your door panel off. Okay, pull your water shield down enough so you can access the upper uh, upper inside of the door. Okay, there's your door handle right there. See there's a little green clip here. Reach in with your thumb, pull that clip off, and pull this rod right out. And now you have two 8 millimeter nuts there and there. Okay, you need an 8 millimeter wrench or a socket and ratchet. Once you pretty much get these nuts loosened up, they come right off. comes right out. Okay. On your new 1A auto handle you would want to um, switch this rod over just to unclip it. Okay, pull it out. My handle's in good shape, so I'm just gonna put the original one back on. Put this one into the new one from 1A Auto. Clip back on. And put that down in. You may have to pull your handle just a little bit. Go back up in. Restart your 8mm nuts. Just pretty much put them on by hand at first. You can actually see that one right down through this hole. If you have a light. Okay, straighten them up, nice and firm, get them seated, and then have another quarter of a turn to tighten them. Okay, reach in and get the walk rod in place, okay, and then snap the clip on. Okay, now put your water shield back up in place. Uh, make sure that the uh, door lock uh, knob is upright. Uh, the door latch rod comes through as well as 
uh, the harnesses if you took it off that far. We're going to install your door panel. Put your window harness up in. Reconnect it. You bring this out. Push it down in. Clip on. And then you want to find the, if you look down, there's clips. Okay, you have all these hooks, so you look at the bottom ones, make sure you get the bottom ones in. Okay, bring it up. Make sure your lock, where my lock go? Lock it down and behind. Your lock comes up through, push the panel on, make sure it goes in flush, and then lock it down. And now put your three screws back in. And again, we'll kind of fast forward through that. Um, three Phillips screws, tighten them up and tighten them nice and firm. Don't over tighten them though. We hope this helps you out. Brought to you by www.1aauto.com, your source for quality replacement parts and the best service on the internet. Please feel free to call us toll free 888-844-3393. We're the company that's here for you on the internet and in person.